This is it. This is what we have been waiting for. We are finishing the Bundesliga season today. We will find out whether we can actually get Champions League football next season. But we have to perform in all of our games in this episode. And to be honest, I think we can do it. I really think we can do it because the first game is against Werder Bremen. It's away from home. It's a Volstadion. But in game 32 of the season, we've got three games this episode. You can see there, Wolfsburg. They are three points ahead of us, but we have a game in hand. We have a much superior goal difference. So if we can just get the points and keep the pressure on Wolfsburg, I think we can do it. So anyway, we just kicked off our first game and we're going into the first chance here as the ball is played over the top towards Kessie. Kessie is through and he scores straight away. Five minutes and 50 seconds into the game. He knows why we need to win this game. He knows what he needs to do. And he's just done the Rooney boxing celebration because he's just knocked out all the competition right there. Less than six minutes into the game and we are ready to go. We are absolutely pumped up for this. We're going again. On the 15th minute, Manir passes the ball down the left wing towards Gilen. He cuts back inside and then outside the foot, left footed strike hits the inside of the crossbar. Sorry, not the crossbar, the post and so unlucky there. And Pereira with another chance. A couple minutes later, he's blocked and he's out for a corner. Unfortunately, nothing came from it. But in the 19th minute, we're on the attack again. The ball is with Pereira. He spots the run from Kessie. First time strike and Kessie has doubled his tally. He's got his brace. He's got the second goal for Hamburg this game. He's stirring up the competition. He's already knocked him out. Now he's stirring it up. He wants more. He can't wait for more. He's after his hat trick. And what a brilliant strike that is. And three minutes before the hard time whistle, the ball has played through to Manier. And Manier, what an end to the season he's had. He's banging him in left, right and centre. And guess who? was the architect in that chance of course it was Kessie you can see here the ball is played through first time assist there Munir takes a touch stabilizes himself and knocks it straight into the bottom corner and we go into the half 3-0 up Wolfsburg are absolutely cacking themselves at this point because we are 3-0 up and our game in hand and you gotta be thinking Champions League football's ours not as simple as that because in the 7th 68th minute sorry they get a goal back. And it's one of the smallest players on the pitch. It's Rosina. Um, yeah, he's scored a header. Uh, I don't know how he's done it. He's beaten Sakai two ahead of there. And to be fair, it was well guided. So fair enough. Fair, fair play. But we're on the attack again. We're not out here to be pushed over. And Jairo gets the ball on the edge of the box. Unfortunately, his strike goes wide off the target. You can see he's visibly annoyed there. But we've finished the game 3-1. Pressure's on. Pressure is on for Wolfsburg there and Luka Platavut, we've got an, a loan offer here from Riza Spore in Turkey. Okay, we're accepted that. The 16 year old might be going to Turkey on loan next season. So that'll be a good experience for him and plus he's off the books for us. But anyway, back into this game. We are against Bayern Munich. This is the big game of the season. This is the biggest game of the season. We are fourth. We are currently in fourth position. We are six points off third, and we are just above fifth in goal difference. But this is a must-win game. We are facing the league leaders. They've already won the league, and you can tell that they are the, the kind of quality that you'd expect from Bayern Munich because they're already pressing 10 minutes in. Coleman gives it out to Gretzka, and the first-time volley there is easily saved by the goalkeeper. But anyway, we go on the attack. Seven minutes later, the ball is played through to Holtby. Holtby tries a strike, trying to catch... No, you're off guard, and we can't seem to get the header for the second chance there. But Lewandowski is coming to attack our defence here. 30 minutes in, Toledo ends up with the ball, strikes it towards Polisbeck, but it's easily caught by the German goalkeeper. Now, four minutes from the half-time whistle, the ball is crossed in from a corner, and Lewandowski's header is on target, but yet again is saved by Polisbeck. But yet, we're not done there. Coleman crosses the ball in just before the half. Polisbeck's absolutely fuming with his defence. And he's rightly so. He shouldn't have won that header. But luckily it's off target and we survive the first half. But we had the first chance of the second here. The ball is crossed into Gilen and he's just written his name into the record books there. What a finish. What From a guy who never scores, by the way. This guy never, never scores. But look at this finish. Banks crosses his body straight into the top corner. No chance for Manuel Neuer. He said, what, you're one of the best keepers in the world? No chance. I'm getting it in that top corner. 
and he did it. He defied him. And hopefully we can keep this lead. Good save there from Paulus Beck. Right in the top corner from Lewandowski there. But come on. We've got 23 minutes left. And to be fair, it's a well-timed finish there from Holtby. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was an easy save from Neuer. But that is it. We have beaten the champions. Gielen's goal in the 50th minute means that we are in the top four. We are three points ahead of fifth. And we are three points behind third Schalke is in our radar and we're going into the final game of the season and we are away from home at Hanover 96 this is a must win game we cannot risk anything here but luckily we have pretty much secured our Champions League spot unless for some reason the team who are in fifth get 20 goals in the next game and then don't concede any so I think we're pretty much safe so we can just have fun in this game and just go so we've got our I will not say reserves out, but we haven't got a full strength team out. We've got a few non-starters, but up here, wow. Wow, 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 wow. You can see why I was so annoyed when Bayern injured him during the season. Because the, he comes out with something like this, and just look at that strike. Arp smashes it into... He's not even the top corner, but he's got that much power, that much direction that the keeper has no chance saving it. Arp again, passes up to Venter, gives it to Kessie 20 minutes into the game. Kessie tries a shot there, but their keeper easily saves it. He doesn't even have to move, but that strike from Arp is, is the difference at the end of the first half there. But we go again, Gyro with the attacking run there, and I'm not sure what the defender's doing there. He's actually taking a shot at his own goal. But anyway, we're carrying on. We're obviously packing on the pressure because their defenders don't even know what they're doing. Venter tries his luck this time, but his shot is just over the bar. Jean-Luc Itter now pressing on the 61st minute, gives it off to Venter. Venter again on the edge of the box. He tries his luck once again, but an easy save from their number 20 in goal. Let's have a look at this again. So Venter passes off the ball to the left wing this time. Gyro crosses it in and Arp secures his brace. Secures our 2-0 lead. 22 minutes from the end it's just about to click over to 22 minutes left in this game and let's have a look at this again first time finish bang straight in to the back of the net what play what 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 can i say about that i mean like arp is our talisman there and dylan venter has finally finally got his goal he's done it he's actually done it and what a strike it was he's been trying that all game and i think that's probably the fourth attempt that he's had at that specific strike and what a strike it was in the end you can see here it's got the dramatic replay as he smashes it with his right foot straight into the top corner what a strike that was 3-0 we're putting the pressure on and let's see let's see where we finish i mean like we're just having fun here and to be fair what a great save from ben horn there actually no it's paul's beck in goal sorry i'm trying to take some credit away from paul's beck there but what a great save from him 3-0 Nice work from the board. They're absolutely loving it. We've increased the club's worth. We've done well with our youth programme. And we've also got some tournament prize money, which is 85 million. And that must mean we've secured our Champions League spot. Okay, and we're going to go through some of the season stats now. So let's go on the appearances. Remy Walter tops the list with Papadopoulos, Pereira, Gilen, and Art finished off the top five. Going on to goals now, Jan Fitter Arts walked it with 16, Pereira second with 7, Nare third with 6, Mane fourth with 5, and Kessie joint fourth with also 5. Okay, going on to the assist now, Jan Fitter Arts with 6, Donis with 6, Mane with 6, Holtby with 6, <laughs> Gielen with 5. Okay, we've done very well, we've, we've not just been a one team, well one player team I should say, but anyway, look at that, Ben Horn. 12 <laughs> he's gone up 12 in one season he's gone from a 66 to a 78 in one season that is unbelievable but going through there's a lot of twos here there's a lot of twos and to be honest that is much much more like it i mean i would take twos for every player and that would be absolutely brilliant but jean luca Itter there plus five absolutely brilliant go from a 70 to a 75 he's only 21 years old as well so he will be an absolute world beater someday we're carrying on with the twos Lacroix has gone up one, obviously, because he's only just been called up from the youth squad. Wilson McKenney's actually gone up... Weston McKenney, sorry. Weston McKenney's only gone up three. 
Uh, Remy Walter's gone up three as well, so he's gone to a 78. Brilliant. Gilen with a plus six there. Absolutely brilliant there from the 19-year-old. 79 rated already. Victor Thighs has gone up four on loan. Sergio Gomez has gone up seven. That's another brilliant, brilliant season for him. I mean, 71 to 78, and that is absolutely brilliant. But we're looking at the table here, and... Who said who said Champions League football was out of the question again? Uh, I think it was the game. The game said Champions League football was out of contention. But look at where we finished. Third. We finished third. So where he got that idea from that we couldn't do it, I have no idea. We finished the season after 34 games, 16 wins, 12 draws, 6 losses, 51 goals for, 23 goals against, and 60 points. I mean, we're 14 points behind the leaders in Bayern Munich, but I tell you what, that is a season I am proud of. I am very proud of the lads. Third place in our first season back in the Bundesliga. I mean, you can't really say much about that. I mean, the six losses, not great, but you are going to lose sometimes. You need your ups, you need your downs during the season, but that is it. That is where we have finished this season. And... Just to finish off this video, Platavut has been sold to Argentinos Juniors and Daniel Becker. We have got a offer from Aalborg, so hopefully he'll be on his way as well and we'll get some of these youth players out. And there you go, there is the confirmation. Daniel Becker has been sold for 570000 to Aalborg. And here is our end of season review. Everybody is happy. Of course they are. If they weren't happy, I'd be very worried. But anyway, that is it for season two of my Hamburg career mode. What what a season it's been. I mean, like, we drew a lot of games. We won a lot of games. We didn't lose that many games. We had a very superior goal difference, and we finished in the Champions League spot. So that's all I've got to say. Tell me how you want me to adapt the series in the future, but I'm happy with this as we are going along. But anyway, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe, like the video, because Champions League football, it deserves a like. Surely it deserves a like. And to be honest, once you've done both of those, I will see you in a bit.